Hello and uh, welcome to the warm-up session of the upcoming Finland Games of Fair. My name is Oleg. I'm one of the organizers of the upcoming Games of Fair. And um, in this warm-up session today, I want to brief you through the event. I want to show you the preview of the event, the agenda, how to complete your attendee card, and essentially how to get most out of the event. With that being said, let me share my screen and show you what we have lined up for uh, today. Uh, so today I'm going to show you the preview of the event on the Pine platform. Uh, this is very important. We use the platform uh, to run the event and you will be receiving the invitation to join Pine. Please accept it. Please make sure that you join the platform, complete your attendee card and uh, starting from the 12th of April, you will be able to see the whole event area. Right now it's a little bit hidden. So you will have only the limited view, but it gives you the opportunity to see what's essential there for you. I will uh, show you the agenda of the event, uh, live sessions, uh, and how to join uh, the live sessions with the studios and partners during the networking break, how to create the attendee card to get most out of the event, how to book meetings, uh, the career wall with the multiple career opportunities and how to apply to the jobs, and then essentially, yes, invitation to find. Uh, you will need to accept that invitation, log into the platform, complete your attendee card to really get most out of the event. And in the end of the session, I will tell you about the important days and what to expect. With that being said, let me now show you what we actually have lined up for you for the event on the 21st and 22nd of uh, April. And uh, we have a very interesting agenda coming. So on the first day, we will uh, start with the overview of the Finnish games industry. And next, we will have the presentations from the studios. So all the companies uh, participating and actively recruiting will be talking about their um, culture, their team, uh, their recruitment process, how they make the recruitment decisions, and of course, what kind of talents they are looking for and what kind of projects and new games they are working on. All the presentations will take uh, place at the live uh, will take place live at the main stage, and now I will show you how it's going to look like. So right now we only have the promo video of the upcoming event, but essentially um, during the event you will be able to see all the presentations here. There is going to be a chat function where you can actually ask questions, and um, we will have one or two minutes from each of the speaker to actually answer those questions. Um, after the studio's presentations on the second day, we have something interesting coming. We have a networking at the studio's interactive stands. All the participating companies and partners will have their stands ready, and I will show you uh, how it's going to look like when it's available. So companies will have their interactive stands, and you will be able to see the company stands on the 12th of April. So definitely come back to this platform um, on the 12th of April. Um, with the studios and the networking break, um, apart from studios presenting who they are, what kind of projects they, uh, they work on, they will also put on the cameras and will be able to answer any of your questions. You have a chat function, so please ask questions, get to know the companies uh, better. You can start asking those questions even before the event, but essentially on the day of the event uh, during the networking break, you will be able to go to the company stands, um, see them live and ask questions and get the responses to your questions. In the afternoon of the first day, we will talk about the salary survey results. I think this is going to be very important and interesting. What are the salary ranges for different positions in, in the Finnish games industry as of today? Uh, we will talk about how Finnish government, government supports um, international talents willing to work and relocate to Finland to work at the game studios. Um, Helsinki has a lot to offer to the foreigners, including they have the spouses program, uh, some expat communities, um, where to find the apartments, where to connect with the you know, like-minded people. So we will have a presentation um, uh, sharing where you can find all the information and what actually Helsinki as a city has to offer. It's super functional, but I think it will be interesting to actually hear it uh, from, the, uh, from our partners. Finnish games industry also known for its very small and neat community. Imagine that uh, there's only 3,200 people employed in the games industry. So it's very, um, it's very, very small, but it, it, regardless of that, it generates over two and two billion euro per year. 
So it's very successful. And Finnish games IGDA, <laughs> Finnish IGDA chapter is probably one of the most vibrant and one of the most active. So we want to introduce you the Game Developers Association during the event. We're going to wrap up event at around uh, four o'clock, but we have something interesting coming next. We will have the, uh, the networking session where you will be able to connect with us the recruiting studios and actually also other participants to have a networking uh, discussion and just connect with the uh, talents and studios worldwide. On the second day of the event, we will have a very exclusive talk with the CEOs of Supercell, Ubisoft, Redlinks and Finest Bay Area to talk about what they think makes Finland a unique place to develop your career in games, why foreign talents should be coming to Finland to develop their career in games. And then one thing I think that is super interesting is that uh, we estimated that 35% of the people working in the Finnish games industry are from abroad. So English is the official language of the industry. Um, and uh, more and more, uh, we feel that there's so many more open positions right now in the Finnish games industry. So the industry itself um, needs a lot more talents who are open and uh, interested to join it. We will hear some very exclusive talks on tips and tricks on landing a job at the Finnish games industry. Um, lead recruiter from the Rovio will tell us how to get to the games industry if you are not yet part of it. Uh, we will talk about what recruiters from the leading Finnish game studios are looking for in a resume. I think this will be very interesting to hear uh, the first uh, to hear from the uh, people who make the decisions to invite people to the to the interviews, what they are looking for in, in resume and how to make your resume stand out to land that first interview at a game studio. We'll have a panel discussion um, talking about how IT professionals and juniors who want to join the industry because apparently it's very attractive and very sexy, so to say. So we will hear actually what are the tips and tricks if you would like to join the games industry? What are the things that you need to take into account and how it actually works in practice? We will have a discussion with the <clears throat> talent leads and HR managers of the studio who will tell us their latest experience of hiring and relocating foreign talents to Finland during the COVID, how COVID affected it. But I'm happy to say that our last event took place in October. And in that event, 17 people got recruited, started the new chapter in their career, and most of them were from abroad. So relocations actually uh, do happen and they work very, very smoothly. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, we're quite excited to partner up with the Game Development World Championship. So actually, we have something very interesting lined up for you. If you have been working on any games as a hobby or during the game champs, or you've been developing game for a long time that you want to uh, present it, we actually have the competition that we're going to kick off, which will run during and after the event. So please uh, submit your games and we will be giving out the prizes. So all the participating studios and talents will be able to try your game. I think it's a great opportunity to, to show uh, what you've been uh, working on. We will hear some uh, success stories from the past. We will talk about the relocation aspects and we will close the event in the afternoon. So <clears throat> this is um, related to the agenda. Uh, what's next? The essential part of this event is, of course, we want you to present yourself in the best possible way. And that's why I want to show you the cornerstone of this event. This I'm sharing you how the um, talent board or attendee card actually of the attendees look like from the last event. And as you can see, it looks very, very beautiful. So please take the opportunity, uh, create your attendee card and tell about yourself, tell about your expectations, um, uh, share, the, uh, share the knowledge, uh, share what projects you've been working on, your portfolios. If you're a developer, share your LinkedIn, your GitHub. Um, if you're an artist or a designer, share your art station portfolios. And please use this opportunity, create this attendee card, because this is exactly how the companies are going to make the decision who to recruit, who to interview. Uh, you will find that section which is called attendee card and uh, we have now created our first attendee cards from us as a team uh, starting from uh, the when once you receive the invitation to find you log in you will be able to see 
this section, attendee card. You click the attendee card and here you can write down about yourself, what are your event goals? What kind of team you're looking for? What kind of games and genres you have been uh, working on? Please share the images if you have videos uh, of the gameplay, anything that you've been working on, because that's super important, I think, also for the companies to see. And links, of course, share the links to your portfolios, your LinkedIn, uh, your art station, your Behance, anything that um, would actually make your uh, profile to uh, to stand out so i think this is the one of the most important part um we will we have the career wall uh, right now it's still um under like companies are still populating it but i'm pretty sure that we're going to have a lot of open opportunities over 50 i think we had last time and i think that today um the companies are uh, already started adding some of the jobs as you can see it will populate and it will grow up until the event and stay there also after the event but in the career wall you will see some of the hot jobs and you will be able to apply to the studios directly you can apply to those positions before the event you can also meet the studios at their stands or during the talks uh book one-on-one -on -one meetings with them and definitely this is an opportunity to get another job um uh, there's going to be the event chat uh, we will be active there already from today onwards so if you have any questions or you want to chat or ask something um, related to the event or generally please use this opportunity we and the companies are already on board uh, we're already on point so we will be trying to answer those questions uh, as soon as possible there's a help desk so in case you have any technical problems during the event or the time leading to the event please write here on the questions related to the uh, technical issues we also have the event info uh, based on our previous events we tried to collect uh, the most essential part what the people are asking us about the event so please have a look in the event section we actually tried to outline um, everything what you need to do to actually get the event um, as successful as possible uh, so in the event section you will see it as i told you we are going to do something really interesting this year uh, with the with the rent and networking so you will definitely meet uh, the studios and have one-on-one -on -one discussions with the um, uh, with the people coming from from all over the world i'm super happy we have so many interesting applications this is how the event is going to look to you starting from the 12th of April when the studios area partners area is going to be complete. As you can see, the companies and the studios are right now working on their branding and we want uh, the stands are going to be very uh, interactive. Career wall I told you about, you will be able to see the attendees, attendee cards and things like that. Um, all the information I think that uh, you provided us at the, uh, at the registration in terms of your seniority, your speciality and your skills, we will transfer it to Pine uh, when you get the invitation to Pine. So all those tags related to your skills and specialities will be uploaded automatically. So thank you very much for taking time to complete it. This information that you provided, it will be converted into the tags. And the companies and um, as well as you will be using the stacks to find each other and connect to the uh, right opportunities, book meetings, apply to the jobs and, uh, and things like that. We will also have the lobby with all the essential information so you will be able to see what's what's happening. Um, but apart from this, um, I think uh, I'm done with the Pine platform and uh, now I just want to tell you, I repeat myself once again with the important dates to keep in mind. So the networking starts on the 12th of April. Uh, you will receive the invitation to Pine. Please accept it. Please check all of your folders. If you haven't received it within uh, next week, please reach out to us. Uh, maybe it ended up in, in, in spam or, or something like that, but don't hesitate to, uh, to get in touch with us. Um, as I told you, starting from the 12th of April, you will be able to see full event, uh, studios area, partners area, Finland area, uh, speakers, uh, agenda topics. And from that moment onwards, you can already book the meetings. You can reach out to the companies. You are able to apply to the jobs even before that. But everybody is going to be active on the platform starting from the 12th of April up until the event. And we also want to offer you more career opportunities. That's why the Pine platform will remain open up until 12th of May.
So there might be new jobs, there might be new opportunities. We will also contact you for any new job opportunities and we'll be posting new jobs there to the career wall. When will I receive my invitation to buy? We're sending the invitations now, starting actually today. Uh, so people who applied before, uh, we will start adding those. You will be receiving those. And as I said, I think the most important part is right now to accept the invitation, log in to Pine, uh, create your authentic card, check the career wall, and be back by the 12th to actually connect with the, uh, with the companies. Um, we are available for you. We received a lot of applications, so please mind the, uh, the response rate, how fast we can respond. But if you have any questions, please send it to talents at gamesfactorytalents.com so me and my team can immediately answer or try to answer those as soon as possible. One thing I realized that actually we have the Games Factory Talents YouTube channel, and I want to take a moment to show you, um, you know, what's, what's available in, uh, in there. Uh, <clears throat> we have recorded the sessions from the previous uh, events. And also we recorded this session with um, uh, how the uh, previous event exactly looked like. So Finnish Games uh, job pair that we organized in October. Please take a look at it. Um, we will have the warm up video here, but also some other presentations that took place during the event in October will be available here. We just realized that this is very easy way to communicate where, uh, where we are. Um, with this being said, um, thank you very much for joining the warm up session. Uh, please reach out to us. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, we are very much looking forward to seeing you with us in. Uh, in April and uh, let's connect, let's be friends. We're looking forward to seeing you all. Thank you very much and uh, see you very, very soon.